Hello everybody, welcome to our assembly for Key Stage 2. Uh, the assembly today is Reading for Pleasure. Reading for Pleasure. The more you read, the more things you know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. What are the benefits of reading for pleasure? Well, there are lots of benefits, personal benefits to you. Escapism, escaping, going into a different world, using your imagination. Enjoyment, learning about different things, understanding different books, taking you to a different place in your, you know, and being creative. It certainly helps you relax. Wider general knowledge, it gives you different things to think about. Your schema expands your brain, your knowledge, your, um, your understanding of different vocabulary and things around the world. Social outcomes. Reading for pleasure can actually develop parent, carer and child communication. What you could do is you could say to your mum, Mum, any chance of coming to read with me? Or can I come and sit with you and read for five minutes? Quite a lot of you might be actually sitting there thinking to yourself, well, actually, I have a bedtime story. That's a fabulous time for you to have some reading for enjoyment. Social outcomes also are self-expression. It allows you to articulate. It allows you to communicate with others as well. You will have more to talk about because you've got more understanding of the world or you've got different vocabulary that you've learnt from your books. Reading for pleasure is also about external outcomes as well. External outcomes. Reading for pleasure and expanding your schema will help you with your extracurriculum activities, such as your writing. If you have uh, discussed your vocabulary with your family, if you have looked up the word in the dictionary, this often will be retained in your schema. So when you come to writing your literacy, you have more exciting things and words and vocabulary to include in your writing which means that your writing improves, it gets better. Increase motivation to learn. If you have got a reading book and you've you know, looked at your schema and your vocabulary, quite often you want to know more. You want to be motivated to learn more. External outcomes, reading for pleasure, increases social and cultural uh, knowledge and understanding. It exposes you to the world, different ideas, looking at newspapers, looking at clips um, on the news, reading uh, different things to expand your culture and your social understanding of the environment is a great thing to have for, uh, from reading from pleasure. Here at Blotswitch Academy, we have signed up to a new learning platform called Get Epic. When you have your login from your teacher, they will um, send it through Teams and you will have your own specific login. Here is a screenshot of what you will see when you log yourself on with your password from your teacher. You have a, a daily reading, you will have your name, on the bottom left hand side you can see it says student name. I've blacked this one out obviously, but your name will come up once you log on. You will also have your teacher will assign you some uh, books for you to read. They may be audio books, they may be uh, reading books, they may be comics. Along the top you have um, uh, assignments. If you click on the assignments, that's where you'll see your allocated books that your teacher has given to you. So you've got your assignments and along the top you have got quizzes also. This page is tells us 
and yourself how many books you have finished and how many hours you have been reading per week. Don't forget reading for pleasure, it, it helps you expand your schema. It's interesting, it's fun. You might want to share a book that you have found on this website. Ask any of my year sixes, they love it. Particularly uh, today, we've had a look at Rosa Parks and we've uh, listened to the audio um, book version of it online. It's amazing. Here, this is a screenshot of the two books that I've allocated for my year six. Your teacher will allocate you certain books for your age group. I've allocated the picture book of Rosa Parks and the Nurse Soldier Spy, the story of Sarah Edmonds, a Civil War hero. Don't forget, reading for pleasure should be fun. So find yourself a nice quiet area. Find, turn the television off. Ha calm yourself down. You might want to do it quite late at night before you go to bed and have a story read to you. You also might want to listen to an audio while you're lying in bed. Please check with parents to make sure that you're able to do this. Epic uh, Reading has also got um, stickers and certificates for you to win. So many hours means that you get a sticker. So many favourite books, you get a sticker. So you may get a portfolio full of stickers, bookworms, daily doubles, um, which means that you've been reading twice in that day, 10 minutes that you've read uh, throughout that day. Everything to expand your knowledge and encourage you to, uh, to read for pleasure. ICT. Sometimes ICT can be as, as deemed as a bit of a negative side of it because you're looking at a screen all the time. However, with the Epic Books, with the uh, Get Epic, you are able to go onto your, your tablet and you can read from your tablet. So you're not watching a video or anything uh, that strains your eyes. You are actually reading. It's very similar to having a Kindle as well. So, each day at the end of our school day, as, long, as well as you reading at home for pleasure, we as teachers will daily be reading a book. Exciting stories live on Teams. I know that year six is, it starts at quarter to three. And I'm sure for year three, four and five, it's a very similar time as well. So remember, reading for pleasure expands your schema. It improves your knowledge. It uh, exposes you to different things that are going on around the world. And it uses your imagination, catapults you into a different world. Wow. But just make sure that you've got a quiet time. Sometimes make sure that you are sharing your reading, perhaps with a grown-up, your nan, your auntie, your uncle, whoever you read with. Enjoy reading for pleasure. So read on, love to read and enjoy.